Hi everyone, it is Saucy. I'm here with a Lenovo ThinkPad Twist, otherwise known as the S30U. This laptop is, well, a tablet convertible. It is stuck at, at an HD resolution, 720p, nothing awesome. Well, of course it has touchscreen, no digitizer. I'm getting this to replace my Chromebook Pixel, which is right here, and it has a cracked LCD. I did a botched repair on this thing, and it runs pretty hot. But this machine is nearly about the same spec, and it has, right now it's running Windows 8. I'm upgrading to Windows 10, but the problem is, underneath here, is that there is no Windows 8 product key on here. It's actually on the BIOS, so this video is going to be about how to get it from the BIOS. I also came across a little problem with installing Windows 8 on here, so I'll show you a little quick little thing on how to fix that. And I'm going to open it up and remove the, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. The little micro or the M.2 SSD, it's 24 gigs, it's nothing. Uh, they go for like $20, but you could go buy a, I believe a 32 or 64 gigabyte for like 20 bucks. Um, 120s go for about $40, 44, 45. Recommend, that's basically what you need. This video, I won't really do a review on this thing yet because I just barely got it, but I overpaid and it's an all right computer. Here we have the BIOS. We can see it says pre-installed OS license, Windows 8 Pro, DPK, TPG, ThinkPad. I don't know what the DPK stuff means. So the, bio, the, the BIOS holds the um, <laughs> activation key. So we got it here. Okay, so I was like, all right, sweet. Let's go ahead and turn this thing off and then on again. I'm going to try to boot. I have a USB inside here. I don't know if you guys can tell right there. With Windows 8, let's go ahead and boot. But it won't let me boot. Originally, I had thought that this computer had um, it, I, I had a bad ISO image, I should say, on the computer, but that wasn't the case. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. So we have to mess with the settings. Let's go. We have we we can't have U U E F I boot. It has to be both. And let's see legacy first. CSM support. Let's restart. All right. Let's go ahead. Get this. Okay. Oh yeah, it's very fast, like how everybody says. So you gotta tap this thing quickly. All right, bam! There you go. How you boot from the USB? Not I. Not all computers are gonna come like this. Some some computers might come differently, but if that's gonna be a roadblock, you got it right there. For some weird reason, this auto rotate crap keeps on giving it into, I want to say, landscape or portrait. And I hate it. So, what I do is, you got, all you gotta do is press control, alt, up, down, left, right, whatever you want it to be. Okay, so let's go ahead under system. I should say control. Is it system? Oh, no, let's go under update. Windows update settings. I think this is it right here. PC settings. All right. So a lot of people say that it just it should just work, right? They say, oh, it just it just uh, activates you know by itself. Here we have activate Windows, activate. Courses see can't work. Product key. We're gonna enter a new product key, but we can't find it because we don't know where it's at. Let's go ahead and uh, we don't know how to use Windows. 
All right, so we have this thing called uh, OEM key. Where did I, who did I download it from? Whatever, we'll go and run it. Oh, from Neo Smart Technologies. I'll, I'll get you guys a link to where it's at. Bam, there is the code. Um, let me see, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to edit that out. Activate Windows, enter the key. <clears throat> <sighs> Sweet. So that's how you pull the uh, BIOS BIOS key. Pr pretty simple. This, if not, you guys might. Would, oh my God, got it. Oh Jesus, it's gonna stay there forever. Hey, okay. um, sorry for the view right now. I don't know how to really get a nice uh, camera view, or I should say a close-up view. On the computer, so this will just have to do. Let's go ahead and start by removing a hard drive. I'm checking this thing out without even looking at the hardware maintenance manual. Let's see how easy this bad boy is. Hmm. Let's go ahead and move the keyboard. Ooh. Alrighty. Oh, sweet. So we got the processor, the heatsink right here. And that looks like the, um, the M.2 slot right there. That is the battery, of course. I don't know what the hell that is. Let's go ahead and remove this guy right now. I paid uh, $350 for this for this guy. I overpaid, but I just wanted it really bad. We got a SanDisk oh, <laughs> SSD, probably broken right now. And, um, I don't know if I could. I wonder if I have to really remove the keyboard to get to the to the heatsink. But I mean, if this thing does get hot, but I think it's because it's just an Ultrabook. I'm getting this so I could replace my uh, Chromebook Pixel. This thing is essentially downgrading because Chromebook Pixel has a nice, um, almost 3K display panel. It's around 2K, 3K, but I had, had I had broke my screen on my Pixel. Yeah, I cracked the screen, so I pretty much don't want to mess with touch screens for a while because that bummed me out big time. It had a backlight failure, but turns out that. <laughs> The way how you fix it, I didn't even have to, I wouldn't actually broke my uh, pixel if, if I if I had done it another way. Hi, I think you guys can see me. <laughs> I hope you guys liked the video. I didn't go too crazy technical on this one. It was very quick. I will maybe replace the CPU when it's unbearable, but it's bearable, so there's that. Uh, when, I, when I worked on the Chromebook Pixel, I replaced the CPU on that thing and it still felt hot, so I don't think it really matters. Ultrabooks just run hotter, especially when they have, you know, like aluminum body. I'm not too sure on the build quality of this. It it looks like it's magnesium chassis, but the S series is very similar to the E series. It's, it's just the Ultrabook version of it. Here we have the S31, an Asia exclusive ThinkPad. Kind of like the 701C, of course. Um, these things are pretty pricey. They're hard to find, first of all. So that's another thing. Just like the palm top, they are expensive. You look in like maybe $200, $300 for one of these. And you have to wait forever for one. I've only seen one on eBay in the past six months. There will be a little review on this thing. I got this essentially for free because I work at a recycler. Luckily, I was able to get a hard drive 
uh, caddy. I don't know, hard drive ribbon cable for it. So then I'm gonna install an OS. We'll see how it goes. But definitely want to add to the collection. This I will be trying to use as my daily daily machine. I'm gonna put Chrome OS on here. Probably put another probably put some, some version of Linux on here just to see how it works. It should just work. And yeah, and oh yeah, Windows 10. Gonna see how that is. Gonna lose all my all my um, information or my privacy. But I'll see you guys around. Hopefully, I'll have videos now. I'm gonna have I'm gonna be going full time and selling laptops now. So the plan is whatever laptop I get, whatever repairs that I do, I'm gonna record it and show it to you guys. So you guys will see how awesome ThinkPads are or not awesome. And um, that's about it. So I'll see you guys around. Bye.